Well, actually, pin trading's been around since the very, very early start of the games, back in the early 1900s, when they were actually trading wooden pins. And then from the modern games, it's really expanded. It's very interesting to see just how pin mania actually takes over when the Olympics start. And we have pin traders that have come all from around the world. We have volunteers from Australia, from China, from uh, France, Germany, England, Canada, US. We have over 70 people that have come just to trade pins in the Pin Trading Center. And it's a phenomenon that actually happens at all Olympic Games. I remember the first time I was exposed to pin trading was in Beijing when I went to the Beijing Games. And it was crazy. It's amazing. So pin trading is an amazing opportunity to engage with people from around the world and it has an opportunity to help those in England to, to engage in sport. So we may have hundreds and thousands that come to our pin trading center, but pin trading happens all around the games. It could be in front of venues, it could be basically anywhere in London. So typically there's hundreds of thousands of people that if you're wearing a pin, if you're wearing more than one pin, that means that you're a trader. So anyone can come up to you. So we, we say trade a pin and make a memory because that's exactly what you're doing. Um, in London it's quite small at the moment, not many of the Brits pin trade, it's much more a North American thing. But over the last two to three years it's become busier and busier and a lot more people have collected and we've grouped together around a website and we email each other and it's really taking off now. It's really because it's a little tangible souvenir of an Olympic Games and it, mean, it means something to each person. So it could be a sport, it could be a venue, it could be a certain event. Uh, and it's just, I think it's their bit of history, they're, they're, they're having a little bit of Olympic history and it's your chance to build that collection. So I went to the Vancouver 2010 games and I had a person that started training with me there and so I kind of got hooked on it. Right. Uh, they've been doing countdown pins so from five years, three years, two years, one year, 500 days, 300 days, complete cross section right the way down to the current time. Fantastic. This is the, the United States staff pin. That's a fun one. Uh, a couple of the sports specific pins I'm really looking for. So weightlifting, the track and field ones. I'm going to talk about the staff pin. For example, the staff pin. I'm going to talk about 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 the staff pin. That's really nice. Yeah, so, would you would you trade that for my Barkley and Dagenham pin? Oh, that was, you know what? I've always wanted a Barkley. Have you? Dagenham. You know what? <laughs> Fantastic. I stay, I stay up at night waiting for Barkley. Superb. And Here we go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And then for me, I'm not really about the value or how rare they are. It's just uh, I just want a lot of them that look good. 每枚片它都会有一枚故事，它向喜欢它的人能够传播很多的信息，包括历史的信息，包括它能表达一些含义。那通过片呢，能能创造一个平台，那么能让我们认识很多的朋友，让更多的朋友能认识呃认识这种奥林匹克的那种精神，包括我们中国，包括中国北京。Always collect what you like. Um, don't collect for money. You collect because you like it. If it's worth something, that's fine. But never collect for money. Um, try and limit what you collect because it can just grow and grow and grow. Um, and then just enjoy it and, and have some fun. That's the whole point of it, really. The values actually are very in line with the Olympic values. It's all about friendship, respect, and also togetherness. So that's what pin trading does. It's the only time that you can actually really walk up to a, a, a total stranger who are, who's wearing pins and ask them if they want to trade a pin. And it actually doesn't matter what language they speak because because it's international and the Olympics is that's exactly what it does it brings over 200 nations together and to celebrate sport and pin trading is just the it's actually been dubbed the unofficial spectator sport at the Olympics